I'm Dr Lucy Biddle and I'm a senior lecturer at Bristol University. We're working on a, a package of research which is looking at ways to try and understand more about how young people use digital technology in their lives, particularly in relation to their mental health, with the hope that this can give practitioners um, insights into ways that they can improve communication in consultations and ways that they can identify risk amongst young people. Participation has been at the heart of our study because we very much want it to reflect the experiences of the young people and the practitioners that we're trying to um, study here. I have suffered with depression for years and years. I think that social media definitely has a big part of that because it really consumes our lives and there's new apps being created all the time. Students usually are able to come to healthcare professionals with mental health issues relating to technology. However, they find that they're quite often having to explain how the technology works and why it's so important in their lives. And if healthcare professionals already knew that, it would be a lot more, students would feel a lot more comfortable uh, going straight there instead of relying just on their peers. Only about 50% of the mental health practitioners that were part of our survey were actually routinely asking young people about their online use and over 90% had no protocol for doing that. So one of the things that we're really keen to, to achieve in this research is to come up with some co-created guidelines created by young people and practitioners about how best to address these issues in consultations. Young people have impressed upon us the fact that the way you ask is really important in terms of whether they feel stigmatised or judged about their online behaviour so it's given us a, a set of do's and don'ts really for clinicians about how to, um, how to have these sorts of conversations. So the, the key next step for the project is to get a first draft of our guidelines for clinicians about how to have conversations with young people about their online activities and once we've got that, that draft we will be looking to pilot that in some real life settings. We hope that our guidelines are something that can be developed and widely disseminated so that they become um, part of NHS um, policy but we also hope that this will very much um, open the door to looking at ways that young people and practitioners can use digital technology together to improve consultations. With the amount of students and young people and people in general that are suffering with mental health um, and how much it impacts people's lives I just think that it's such an important piece of research to be doing.